Okay, welcome to All About Wavetable. We're gonna talk about the new synthesizer in Ableton Live 10, the Wavetable. I'm gonna load it up to an empty MIDI track. Let's close the browser. Uh, you can use everything, all this, the entire synthesizer from this view, but you can also expand it with the expand button and you can change the, the size here and it will move the different section of the synthesizer accordingly, which is really great. We can take advantage of the full real estate of the window. Um, excellent. So Wavetable uh, Synthesizer, I used to not like it so much in beta. Now it's amazing. There's even more improvements coming uh, in the near future. Um, so let's uh, do an overview, check what it's all about. So Wavetable Synthesis um, is functioning like any other synthesizer, like any other subtractive synthesizer. But what's unique about it is the oscillator. Instead of having just one waveform at the time, right now I have a sine wave. Uh, let's change it to a saw wave so we can all hear it if you're in, even if you're not using speakers or headphones. Uh, you can actually start morphing between different uh, wave uh, shapes, waveforms. So each oscillator not only having one shape, but having many shapes. In this case, we have four. Square, saw, triangle, and sine. And then we can start changing the wave table. And as you can see here, we have a lot of shapes that we can morph with using this slider called the wavetable position. So wavetable synthesizers like Serum, like Massive, the Godfather, um, are very powerful uh, synthesizers, but their uniqueness comes in the oscillators, which allows us to uh, scan all these different waveforms. Okay, so let's do an overview, and then we're gonna start checking it out. I'm gonna split this tutorial into a few videos uh, just so uh, we can focus on each one in depth. So Wavetable has two oscillators. They're identical. You just have two of them. You have a sub oscillator. You have three envelopes. One is for amp volume and two modulation envelopes. You have two LFOs. Here is the matrix section, uh, which you can start modulating almost everything inside Wavetable. Two filters. And here is the global section, the voicing and the volume. Uh, we'll talk about all of this and we even have some media expression controls so you can make the synthesizer uh, react to your uh, playing in a very uh, nice and musical way. Okay, so uh, let's start checking out the oscillators. I'm going to bring this back up to basic shape. Sweet, so we're going to focus on oscillator 1 at the moment. Uh, oscillator 2 is exactly the same. Uh, right here we can select the wavetable. This is the category. We have many of these. Uh, this is the actual wavetable. You can also switch between them using this uh, back and forth button. Let's go back to basic. Um, right here is the wavetable position, which you can change it from here or from the uh, amount, from the percentage. And if you have a MIDI keyboard with a modulation wheel, you can even change it from there by default, as we can see here in the matrix. Nice. Right here we have the panning of the oscillator. Let's change it to a brighter. Double click to reset. You have the volume of the oscillator. You can just even drag the actual waveforms to change the wavetable. Let's switch it to a different one maybe. Nice. Um, down here, we can change the oscillator by semitones or detune it by cents, which is between the semitones. 50 up and 50 down. Uh, right here we have built-in effects. So even though you have a lot of different wavetables, uh, which creates insane amount of uh, waveforms, uh, you also have these built-in effects that can change, uh, furthermore can change the, the oscillator. Um, so let's go to this basic one, saw wave. And first off is FM. Uh, here you can decide the amount of FM, of frequency modulation. And here you can decide the tuning of the frequency modulation and it goes to 100% or minus 100%. So um, 50 is one octave above, 100 is two octaves, and same thing uh, in reverse. Min minus 50 is one octave below, and two octaves below. Now anything in between is gonna be in a harmonic which can be useful for creating some noisy character timbers, noisy sounds. 
Nice. Uh, what's nice about switching between these different effects uh, is that it won't change the amounts. So you can just test all of them out. So in the classic, we have pulse width, which will change the pulse of the waveform. Again, you can go uh, positive and negative. And you have sync, which kind of reveals kind of a hidden oscillator that uh, re-triggers. Change the timbre of the sound. In modern, we have warp, which is similar to, um, <coughs> to pulse width but does it in a slightly different way, and fold, which is a wave shaping effect, uh, which will create, again, a much brighter type of sound. Nice, so all these effects are those three types of even furthermore changing the wave shape. Excellent. Um, right here on the right, you can actually click this circle button and switch the view of the uh, wave, uh, wave tables to the circular view, which uh, looks uh, pretty, very cool. You can just uh, do it like... Very cool stuff, it's just a view, but uh, shown in a circular uh, way, which is awesome. Uh, oscillator 2, here you can turn on each oscillator, and they're exactly the same, so no need to go through this, but uh, because you have two oscillators, you can do so much more uh, with just, compared to just one. Right here we have the sub oscillator. Let's turn off oscillator one, turn on the sub. This is the, let's go up so you can hear it, the volume, uh, the octave. And the tone goes from just a basic sine wave to something with much more harmonics. Kind of a rounded uh, saw square. Um, right here we have the transposition and the transposition will be for everything. So not only the sub, but all the oscillators, basically the entire synthesizer. Nice, so that is the oscillator section. Next, we'll check out the filters.